In this video, we will cover the equipment and techniques that will allow you to get the most out of Triggerfish, the world's only steerable lure. The Triggerfish features a unique combination of elements that make it steerable, including a freely pivoting head that works together with a diving and steering bill. A line tie that is not attached to the head, which allows the head to pivot. Lateral bearings, which help the Triggerfish stay on its side and create sound. And a propeller, which creates surface disturbance and helps the Triggerfish maintain direction. This slow motion clip shows two important principles to remember when working a Triggerfish. The Triggerfish will always be on its side, and it will turn in the opposite direction after the retrieve is paused. For the best results, a medium to medium heavy rod of at least 5 feet is recommended. Monofilament between 6 and 12 pound test can be used, but the best choice, especially for more aggressive methods, is braid up to 30 pound test. It has a perfect balance of low stretch and light bait. When fishing waters with toothy fish such as pike, 6 to 10 inches of nautable stainless leader up to 30 pound test will not hurt performance. When starting your retrieve, there are three main options. Option one is to start your retrieve as soon as the lure hits the water, like you would do with a buzzbait. This keeps your line clear of the water, which lets you begin steering immediately. If your line is in the water, keep your rod tip up and reel slowly until you have established direct contact with the bait and your line has cleared the water. The third option is to take up the slack in your line, then snap your rod upwards while reeling. This will remove any remaining slack and make your line clear the water. When you want to turn, simply pause your retrieve and lower your rod tip slightly to give slack to your line and allow the head to flip. The trigger fish will dive, turn, and continue in the given direction. Your rod tip should remain high enough to keep your line out of the water. This will be lower as your retrieve reaches its end. You want to make sure that you give enough time for the head to flip after pausing. Giving a harder snap with your rod tip when resuming your retrieve is a highly effective turning method that is often very attractive to fish. Another way to change direction is the power turn. Instead of pausing your retrieve, lift your rod tip slightly while accelerating. After the turn, resume a moderate retrieve speed. This method can be deadly, especially when fish are active. It can also work well when fish are sluggish and you want to get a reaction strike. The trigger fish is also a highly effective bait for chugging. After pausing your retrieve, give your line slack, then give a hard snap, then slack letting the trigger fish surface again. For this technique, it's best to have your line in the water and snap your rod to the side. Unlike conventional poppers or chuggers, the trigger fish also dives, mimicking a bait fish trying to reach cover. You can also snap your tip before the lure surfaces for a different look.
Another unique ability of the Triggerfish is the Barrel Roll. Start by chugging, and before the lure has surfaced, resume your retrieve until a full circle has been completed. Pause, then resume retrieving for another 360 degrees. Giving a small twitch before the roll is another option. A longer pause before the roll will keep the lure closer to the surface and give you some good surface disturbance. To give a highly random wounded bait fish action, triggerfish can be worked off the reel with the rod pointed at the bait. Quick partial or full turns of the reel handle will give the triggerfish the look of a bait fish in distress. Mix up the cadence and speed of the retrieve to get different presentations. Depending on the speed and cadence, this method can be used to go fairly deep or stay shallow. It's an excellent way to get following fish to strike if they're reluctant to hit on top. Slight reel handle turns or light twitches with the rod tip can also produce some other unique actions such as surface shuddering, and narrow path walking. Surface stutter is a great technique to use to give a different look during a straight line retrieve. Pulse your rod tip during the retrieve, and the triggerfish will stutter on the surface, throwing water off the head. For maximum stutter, angle your rod in the opposite direction that the lure is traveling. The triggerfish can be made to walk under the surface using a variety of methods in either a regular or erratic manner. Starting with a chug, followed by slack line, then rhythmic twitching, the triggerfish will burrow underwater. As the triggerfish floats up after the twitch, the head flips and it's ready to be twitched again. Pausing longer between twitches will keep the trigger fish nearer to the surface. Shortening the pause will allow you to get the trigger fish down deeper. Double or triple twitches 
are also options that will sometimes trigger strikes. Once the trigger fish has gotten below the surface, you can also vary twitches and pauses to create a unique wounded bait fish action. So try these techniques or experiment and come up with your own and you'll soon see why the trigger fish is the lure with unlimited possibilities with every cast. <laughs>